Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Good morning, I'm Danita Harris. And I'm Katie Houston. We have a look at some of your top local stories today. The Akron man found guilty of setting fires that killed nine people, including children, will be learning his fate today. The jury recommended life in prison for 62-year-old Stanley Ford. The death penalty, though, is also on the table. We will be in the courtroom for you and bring you the very latest on air and online. The Portage County Sheriff's Office says that there are people getting threatening text messages. They claim a dangerous cartel was hired to kill you and to stay alive is going to cost you $6,000. So if you get a call or text like this, it is not real, but report it to the police. People in the Streetsboro area, they might be getting some scam calls too about paying off traffic citations over the phone. One woman already fell victim losing $1,000. The November general election is now one week away and make sure you join us tonight right here on News 5 for an interactive town hall with the Cleveland mayoral candidates and you can even ask questions that will be posed to them. The event starts at 7 o'clock and will be streamed on our Facebook page and our News 5 app. All right, Trent, how are we looking out there? Well, we're pretty cloudy, pretty chilly, and definitely on the gusty side. Winds are at about 10 to 20 through midday, and then should start to relax a little bit as we get into the evening hours. Uh, it's still going to be a pretty gusty evening, but not as bad as the first half of the day. Problem with that is it's out of the north northwest, so it's coming over the lake. It's going to give us some clouds, lake effect clouds, and even at times a couple lake effect rain showers. But look at the big thing, the temperatures. Wow, we don't go anywhere. We're stuck. 40s. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.